Don't worry. Big Daddy will help you. Hello, this is Sparky Mama with Big Daddy. This is another easy guide for dummies. The requirements for this video is a woodshed, a resource storage, and a villager to automate your woodshed. However, for this series, you can leave the automation at the end after you have pre-built your woodshed, workshop, and your well. It requires 8 stone for the foundation, 6 logs for the framing, 1 log for the side wall, and 1 log and 8 straw for the roof. When it comes to the placement of your woodshed, it does not matter where you place it, as long as the villager has easy access from their workplace to their house, and vice versa, there is no issues. Just a little bit of courage and you'll find the wife. Yes, a little bit of courage and I'll find a wife. A little bit of courage to bring you to the bed, Miro. So I've just followed Miro into the forest. This is what it looks like when they're actually doing their job. Villagers will go through animations or tasks that look like they're gathering resources. But realistically, they don't actually need access to a forest to provide the resources. I just noticed that Miro is going for a swim. I need more clothes. Big Daddy's worried for about you, fire. Miro. Don't go too deep. Don't drown. If you do not have anyone assigned to the woodshed, the firewood and the planks are accessible for you to produce yourself. All you have to do is push Miro out of the way, tell her to bugger off. And if you go to the carpenter's rack, craft, you have planks. Planks require one log and will produce two planks. Firewood will produce four pieces from one log. You can produce more than one at a time. When you are crafting, the logs that you have on you are the only logs that you'll be using to produce planks and firewood. You do not have automatic access to the resource storage like the villagers do. You have to manually take them out of the chest yourself. Firewood is one of the most important production items that you will have in the early part of the game. Firewood is what keeps your villagers warm and planks is a product that you will use for buildings especially the higher leveled buildings like when you upgrade a house to have tiled roofs if you want to produce your logs and sticks manually you have to go out into the forest and cut down your own trees and pick up your own sticks from there once you have the logs you can produce your planks and your firewood then you will put those planks and firewood into your resource storage this is where the resource storage comes in handy. All items that are produced automatically by villagers will be put in the resource storage. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. I'm pretty sure that line is from Assassin's Creed Nero. I think you're in the wrong world. Now we're going to move on to the automation. Since Big Daddy's sick of working for Miro, he's going to make her do the work because Big Daddy's getting calluses. If you head to your management screen, go into your buildings, drop down into extraction, and then woodshed. On the overview page, it will show you the tools that the villager needs in order to perform these tasks. Here, it just says axe. I have already assigned Miro to the woodshed. If you're not too sure how to assign a villager to a job, I recommend watching my other video recruiting a slave care guide. If you head up to the top here, you'll see this icon with the hammer. This is your goods production. Here we can assign tasks to Miro as the lumberjack to produce logs, sticks, firewood and planks. The most important resource will be your logs. Logs are what you use to build your buildings as well as logs are used to produce firewood and planks. Here you will provide a percentage that you want them to work, which contributes to their total workload intensity. I'm going to put 60% on logs. 
sticks are used to produce torches and other items at the workshop. I'll put this on 10%. Firewood, I like to put on 20%. We will be producing more firewood than we actually need for the amount of villages that we have, but it's good to prepare ahead. Planks, I put on the lowest percentage, just simply because at the moment I do not need a whole lot of planks. When you require more planks, you can decrease and increase the percentages based on what you need. Now, onto the status. The status indicates any issues or whether the person is actively working on that task. Here, you can see that says no tools. For Miro to produce logs, she requires an axe. If we go into this chest, we can see what items we have stored inside. We have no axes. For her to work, we need to provide an axe in this chest, or we can provide an axe in the storage and make her walk over and get it herself, because Big Daddy likes to make her work. So we're going to head over to the resource storage, and we're going to drop an axe inside this chest. So you can prepare ahead and provide more than one axe. That way, you don't have to come back multiple times. Once you drop an axe in the resource storage, Muro will take notice and start working. Let's go see our management again. Now you can see that it says logs working. This means that she has the tools to get the logs. Sticks don't require any tools and they will pick them up from the ground. Firewood requires logs and planks requires logs. The reason this says no resources is because Miro is working on getting planks and she has used up all the logs available. So if we go into the resource storage, we will drop some extra logs in there to help her out. Now that we've dropped a couple of logs in the resource storage, you will see that all goods on this list are working. That means she has the right tools to get logs and she has enough logs to produce firewood and planks. The percentage over here will relate to the total items produced at the end of each day. So for 60% of her workload, Miro will produce 41 logs. For 10% on sticks, Miro will produce 16. The total amount a worker produces at the end of the day is related to their skill level. Miro has an extraction level of 3. So if we were to swap her over with Casimir, he will produce less. Let's do that now and check how much he would produce if he was the Lumberjack. We've swapped over Miro with Casimir. You can see he has an extraction level of 2. Here, with the same percentage intensity, you can see that he produces significantly less logs than she does. He only produces 27 compared to her 41. The same goes for the sticks, the firewood, and the planks. In order to make the most out of automating your woodshed, I would recommend getting someone with the highest extraction level available, especially if they enjoy the job. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Miro back at the woodshed. This concludes this video on the woodshed. The next video will be on the workshop. Resources produced at the woodshed come in handy at the workshop. Planks, logs and sticks are used to produce other items. The only item that we need from the woodshed for the time being is the planks to produce the bucket. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Big Daddy has a question for you. What's your favourite villager's name? Big Daddy likes Casimir.